Jesus. Ah, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I know it's... Uh, it's a whole thing. If I don't turn off the AC, then you can't hear me, and then it's just... Anyways, hi there. My name is Zach Poor. I'm HIV positive. This is day 43 of these videos, and it is September 6th, 2015. Uh, well, to dive right into this, um, I'm going to give you all an update. Medication is still doing all right. You know, I made two videos yesterday for day 42, and it's because I wanted you all to watch me take the medication, and then I wanted you to kind of get, like, you know, later in the day, which I think I it was two hours afterwards I made the second one. And then I went through the rest of my day, and now that I'm here and I'm on day two, it's, here's the reality. I'm very fortunate the side effects are not as severe as I was told they could potentially be. Um, what I have at most experienced is slight stomach discomfort, uh, and it's kind of like, it's, it's a very weak version of what I guess some would describe would be like if you took a multivitamin on an empty stomach. It kind of gives you that, like, you know, just pit in the stomach kind of pain, but it's not, it's not that, it's not severe, it's, it's just a uh, slight discomfort, and then there's some nausea. I get a little flush, I get a little nauseous, uh, keeping my stomach full seems to help a lot, and just it seems to help uh, keep, you know, I guess my stomach doing something than just running on empty. So with that said, understanding this, I would assume that you know, this will probably last a week or two, I'll know more, because I see my doctor on Tuesday, and I'll just kind of ask, you know, what is the timeline, uh, but I'm doing fairly well with it. I think, I think what's interesting being a millennial with HIV is that I did not experience any symptoms directly of HIV or AIDS before I got on the medication. And so I think what is difficult is still kind of like registering it in my brain that, hey, hi, you're HIV positive. And it's just because there's no cause and effect, so to speak, if that makes sense. So I think that's been the mental process. And, and that's been kind of like, yeah, I'm taking these pills, which admits it, but at the same time, Outside of the pills, I've had no symptoms. And it's weird because you can look at things on a piece of paper and you can have, you know, people point at a screen and say, these are your levels. And like, you know, they say, you got to do this. And, you know, but it's really, uh, it's an interesting position to be in and a path to be a part of. Uh, I'm so fortunate that I can be here and say this, though because so many people weren't able to. And I think in that same essence of gratefulness, it gives me the energy and the drive to say, let's not stop here. Let's make sure we find a cure. And let's do it sooner than later. I feel that a big part of my mission going forward is organizing or helping organize all the pieces so we can come together as a community and say, we can do this. Because I think, I, and I really want to drive this, this idea home, I don't think it's necessarily the fact that if a cure is possible, it's when is it possible, and how soon can we make that a reality. I mentioned this in day 41, it's, it's going to take multiple pieces, but it's all about stitching those together now. And the faster we do that, the faster we can have a cure. The tools are out there. The pieces of the puzzle are out there. It's all about putting it together. So I would encourage all of you who are watching this, if you're not a scientist, if you don't have millions of dollars, raise awareness. And... As I go forward, I'm going to be continuing organizing the website, and I'm, I'm going to be chatting with some really cool people this week, this coming week, that I will be talking about in these videos. 
And I'm excited to move forward on this, to think that maybe by my 30s, I'm not HIV positive anymore. And to think that someone who's had to deal with this their entire lives for the first time don't have to deal with this anymore. That's, that's amazing to me. To think that we could give people that, that freedom and that experience. So, with that being said, that is my message today. Tomorrow is day 44. My dad is stopping in, which is going to be pretty cool. He's never seen my place, um, and he's never hung out with me in my town. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, he gets in around 11, so we'll see how that goes. So tomorrow I'll be doing a video, and I don't know. I feel like I should be saying more, but no need to overcoat this. Everyone, stay strong.